Hello there, Kyle Katarn here. I'm the Bendu. Coming back for another reaction to the Bad Batch. Yes, season, season three, three, episode two. Shout out to Nerd Chronic for editing this reaction for us and sneaking it past the Disney blockade. Um, he edits all of our reactions for us and cuts them down to 10 minutes in length, which means you're missing out on a lot of good reaction parts. So if you want to watch the full uncut version of this, uh, it's available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video. This, Are you ready for this, man? Yeah, I mean, season two. So, like, the fact that they gave us three episodes as an overall introduction to this entire season. Like, episode yeah. one was already very, like, emotionally intense. So I'm very yeah, for, curious. For reference, we, watched, we just finished it five minutes ago. We just yeah, watched right. the first episode. So I'm curious to see, like, what the tone will be for the for the other two episodes. Like, will they be a little bit I more think we'll on have the... A... Hopefully Who's now first? we check in with the batch. You know, yeah, we've seen what Omega's doing. We've seen what Crosshair's doing, and and Tantus and Hemlock and everything. Where's Wrecker? Where's Hunter? What are they up to? We're not going to see Tech. I, I'm I'm convinced he's not dead, but we're not going to see him yet. That's going to be a reveal for later on. That's true. But yeah, I want. I hope. Hopefully, we're going to check in with the other half of our characters, and then the third episode will really move move along what's happening here. Um. I think they released these three episodes for a reason because, like, the story is going to arc over all three of them. You know, mm -hmm. that's my hope. That's I don't really have any predictions going into this, other yeah, than I, um, I think we're going to lose some people. You know, in the second one or by the end of the first three episodes? Maybe not today. Maybe not in this episode. But like this season is going to have a high cost. Well, well, yeah, yeah. That's that's for more sure. what I what I mean. For sure. Cool. Well, are you ready, best friend? Get it going. Do it! I dig it. It's Space Rohan. Oh, sick. Yeah, it is. Who dares summon me Whoa. here and question my Is that Deveron? I was gonna say, are we on Deveron? Stop wasting our time, Captain. <laughs> oh, bro, Professor fuck yeah! Dude, I didn't know Deveron looked like this. Down. This syndicate has grown weak under your rule, Lady Durand. Lady Durand. Weak, you say? Who here agrees? Is that Angelica Houston? You're dismissed, Captain. Jesus. No, it's a laser floor? That's hilarious. I was wondering how he was going to come back into the fold. Fucking Pike Syndicate. Yes, here they are. God, their armor is so scratched up at this point. The mercenaries we discussed. You asked for the Pike who disgraced your family. Is all yours. Take him below. No. No. This isn't over, Duran. Your willingness to cross the pikes shows how desperate you are. Damn. Deveronians are awesome, dude. Since we've upheld our end of the bargain, now it's your turn. Man, I wouldn't take that tone with someone who's got a laser floor. Nice. She respects it, though. Hemlock's whereabouts have been well guarded by the Empire. But one of our sources came across these coordinates linked to his laboratory. Take what you came for and go before my generosity runs out. As you wish, Fire Lord. Yes, madame, I would bow extremely low and then just back out of the room at this point. <laughs> oh, the goggles. Ouch. The last time we stormed an Imperial base well, without tech. backup, not all of us made it out. Omega's been waiting for us a long time, Wrecker. Yeah, she has. I'm not making her wait another day. Dude, that planet is so goddamn pretty. Like, it's so Tantus. emerald. It's such a shame that, like, there's a horrendous... They couldn't have shown us this planet in the first few seasons of the Clone Wars. I think the animation wouldn't have been able to do it justice yet. Like we've come such a long way for an environment like this. It's gorgeously detailed. Ooh, what if they what if they run into Batcher? Uh, smells like rents and Jotaz out here. Nothing Ooh, Jotaz. Nice. Nice. Jedi Survivor reference. What is Whoa. that? What is that indeed? That's Hemlock's lab. This is his old lab. They destroyed it. Another orbital bombardment. But Omega, he, 
if she was here. We don't know if she was. So this was this was Tantus 1.0 over here. Look at how old those vines are. Like they've been there for a while, and they hadn't left planet. Well, they don't know that they had. We know that. I wonder what caused them to move locations into Mount Tantus like that. Dinosaurs. Freeze! Drop your weapons. Oh. <laughs> Feral <laughs> clone teenagers. Wrecker. Regs. And who are you? Wait, they're regs? We're clones. Same as you. Oh shit. Is that Daniel Logan? What are you two doing out here? Surviving. Or trying to. No thanks to the Empire. They send you to finish us off. Do we look like we're with the Empire? Dude, we'll have to wait till the end credits to see if we get Daniel Logan's name drop. We're looking for a young girl. It's amazing. She's a clone. We think she was sent to the lab here. We have to find her. She's part of our squad. Stick to the trail, follow our steps, and don't touch the vines. Don't touch the vines? It's KOTOR as fuck. When the Empire transferred us off Kamino, we thought we were getting more training. Or a force Instead, at least. They made us prisoners, took samples of our blood. At least we escaped before they destroyed the facility. And you survived alone out here ever since? Damn, they're tough as hell. Soldiers. Or we were supposed to be. Don't touch the vine. Damn it, Wrecker! Immediately Stop. touches, like, big-ass fucking snake-looking vine. The biggest vine you've ever seen. Look at that triumphant veiny bastard. Why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> oh, God! Dude, could you Ooh. imagine how... Look, it's bleeding. Kraken? It's fully a creature. How terrifying a tree kraken would be. Yeah, don't like that. What was that stuff? Slither vines. Slither vines. The Empire made it. The Empire made it. Some kind of experimental weapon until they lost control. Oh, God. Probably why they ordered a base Delta the Hunger Zero. Games on the that. Ooh, name drop. Base Delta Zero. That's crazy. That's so much worse than just like really aggressive wildlife. There's like escaped biological weapons in the jungle. We can take you to someplace safe, but we need to find out if Omega was here, or where Hemlock took her. One of the control room panels was still intact during our last scout. You're on your own. They need help, Mox. I'll go with them. This kid's brave. He might not make it. I can get you inside the ruins, but you won't be able to get anything from the console without a power source. We got that covered. Just need to grab something from our ship. <gasps> Gonky! Yes! I wish the other clones felt that way about us. You may be defective CTs, but at least you're loyal. Mm. You just why say they're, they're loyal. Team? You don't have to call them defective too, man. Yeah, right? Like, why can't they use the deal? What a backhanded compliment. Yes! Oh my god. Why, why upside down? The Lord it? God, just carry him the right way around! <laughs> If droids could vomit. I love the wreckers carrying Gonky because they're not gonna put up with his bullshit ass little feet trying to waddle behind them. The fact that they're the fact that they found a way to make a visual cannon of biological weapons. Oh god, is that Vine Cam? Are we getting a Vine POV? Dude, it's, oh, it's, it's shit. like it's like, it's like the last of us in Star Wars. Damn, that kid got lucky. Okay, nope. Nope. The, the trees are tucking. Don't like that. Don't tuck to it. Oh, God, it's oh got like God. a mouth in the middle. It has fucking thorny teeth. Yeah, that no. No, 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 no. Do not like this. <laughs> Those two clones seem different. They're risking their lives to find a member of their squad. They won't make it back from the ruins. You know that. If we wait and the Slither Vines reach their ship, our chance to escape. Do not is gone. take their ship. Don't even think about it. Where's their ship? Northern Ridge. Show me. Megan's idea is if they jerry rig the ship, if they steal the ship, they can bring the ship to them and make it easier for them to get out, maybe? No, they're just thinking about escaping this place. And I can't say I blame him, but still.
No, of there's course, the there. lions are in the sludge. There's like of some kind of like mutated super Dianoga in there. Oh, now you've done it. Don't disturb the water. I know, right? Like, how many Lord of the Rings references are we going to get? All right. Get your thing, little guy. Yeah. We're actually getting some gonk action in this, and that's beautiful. Oh, God. Now you've done it. What oh. the fuck? More vines? That, dude, that's like that's like a mother vine. That's a trunk. Yeah, no, they found they found the boss vine. We need fucking air support. We need air support now. Oh well, the console's gone, so I hope you got everything you possibly could out of it. Oh God, no! Don't lose the kid. I can't lose another kid. Honestly, though. Oh, oh shit! No. Oh god! If you go in that, there's no, there's no way you're getting away from the vines. You ready to jump? Whoo! Dude, like, Let's go yeah, faster! It Must go faster! Like it all shares the same nervous system. Hey, you go. called it! You Fuck called it. it! Good job, man. Man, right, clones, are, clones are real right, ones dude, at any dude, age. Those things, I think, as terrifying as the giant vines are, the, the little the, vine -like the, things are worse. The they're radishes worse. with teeth, like yeah, there's just something mimic, something mimicky about them. A vine will crush you. Those things will like chew you to death. It's so much worse. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, you gotta fly a little higher, dude. Come on, man. Oh no. There we go. There we go. Oh, there it is. There it is. Fucking cold. It's the watcher in the water. Dog. It is. It is like a super Dianoga. It's like a, a Dianoga mixed with a Rathtar. Dude. Oh my god. Yes. Good job, record. Bro, new D and D, new D and D monster just unlocked. This is horrifying, dude. Bro. Hemlock engineered an eldritch horror on this planet. And put it in the middle of a jungle planet. Oh my god, all the grenades! <laughs> Boom! Record, Let's go! Record feels bad for that. Oh god. That was awesome. It was like a pinball shot. The closest of close calls wow. right there. My god, dude. You know what it makes me think of? It makes me think of that horror movie, that the, the Ruins, where they all get like fucked up by the vines. That's what it made me think of. Looks like Hemlock transferred his entire base of operations to another location. It's a lead, but we've got a lot of space to cover. Well, if that's where Omega is, then that's where we're going. We'll drop you three off someplace safe. Where? An island. Oh, they're taking him there to Pabu. People there. They'll take care of you. Man, I'm really nervous that the Empire's gonna come down on Pabu at some point. What about you? I mean, like, he like he could also just call Rex. He could also just call Rex and be like, yo, I got three kids. I got three clone kids for you. He's gonna he's gonna take him to Fee, I think. Man. Dude, they just saved three kids, though. That's a. They that's... did. They did. They saved three kids, but like the way we lingered on that shot there at the end was just like how Hunter's mind is lingering on the fact that Omega's not here, and these kids are roughly Omega's age too. So it's making it even harder for him. You know, that's what I see from that ending. That was a good episode. That was cool. I thought we were on Tantus that whole time, but we weren't. You know, I thought that we were just like deeper in the brush on a different planet. But... Dude, same. Yeah, I thought for sure that we were all. Relatively the same place. Ooh, banger! I guess is just a fan of jungles, you know. Banger after jungles. banger. That was a really good second episode. And we have that one more really episode. Good. We have one more episode left out of this three-episode intro drop. And dude, I've never thought I would be as terrified of a rainforest. <laughs> right? Dragon. Those vines were awesome. That was a really cool dude. idea. New they borrowed like, from like new... several different like horror tropes for that new scary yeah yeah dude like now 
not only do you, when you go into a forest, you have to like worry about Ewoks eating you at night, but now like you have to worry Why about vines, sick? vines literally plucking you up and shoving you into its fucking like. Dude, that was so Fellowship of the Ring. The way it came out of the water like it was that. It's so Lord of the Rings. Like it was so do not disturb. It was so do not disturb <laughs> the water. Like that was that was hilarious. That was amazing. That was such a such a yeah. What's it called? I remember, I remember Star Wars Rebels and also the first two seasons of Bad Batch being just like chock full of Lord of the Rings references and moments like that. Maybe it's, it's just true. because we're Lord of the Rings nerds and so we see those references like everywhere, maybe in places that they aren't already. <laughs> it's just what we bring. But either way, I love it and I hope it keeps coming. It, it looks like it looks like we are going to at least make an attempt to rescue her, but I feel like the whole like location of Mount Tantus is going to be this MacGuffin that it's going to take several episodes of like tracking down leads. Yeah before we finally send Hunter and Wrecker on the right path, you know? So, there's only so many episodes in the season, though, so maybe it'll happen on the sooner side. Like I said, I'm worried about Pabu. I think the, the, I think the island's going to get wrecked. Everyone that shelters the Bad Batch end up facing consequences from the Empire, you know? And if, if, if anyone gets wind of the fact that that's where they went, then there's going to be another base Delta Zero, you know? So I'm really worried that that's going to happen. I hope not, but... This is that kind of show. They've gone to those places. This show's gone so dark. There were things that I used to have as predictions, but then I would be like, no, this is, a, this is at the end of the day, this is still like, you know, an animated show with a kid audience. Yeah. They're not going to do these, but no, they're, they're fucking doing it. Like they're going those places. So, you know, I don't have that kind of safety blanket for the, for the, for the narrative anymore. It's like, they could just start killing people. They could like, destroy innocence. Like who knows what lengths they're going to go to in this show. And I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also like really excited to see, you know, what good comes of it because we know, like Omega's making it out of Tantus, right? There's no way she's gonna die. Like they're gonna rescue her. I, I want to learn more. I want to learn more about what's happening at Tantus. Like I feel like what's behind those shield doors is gonna be everything. Like we need to know. There, dude. There's there's such a plethora of Doctor Frankenstein stuff happening there that like yeah, all kinds of wild, crazy experiments. Yeah. I, I still think yeah. I still think there might be some like, maybe not Palpatine himself, but like essence of Palpatine, you know, maybe a piece of Palpatine behind those behind those shields, mm -hmm. being used as the original specimen. I'm gonna be like fixated on what the hell's going on behind that in that lab until we finally get to see it. <laughs> It'll be my only waking thought. It's gonna be scrumptious. Uh, no, I'm ready. I'm ready for uh, episode three, and that way Let's we can just dive start. into it then. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our reaction to Season 3, Episode 2 of The Bad Batch. Uh, this reaction was edited by Nerd Chronic to comply with fair use. He chopped it down to 10 minutes in length. If you want to check out the full-length, uncut, and uncensored version of this reaction, it is available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Thanks again, and as always, may the Force be with you.